Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our program, The World at Home. Today, you will hear works for string quartet by composers that span four continents, all reflecting these composers' lives and perspectives of their home. As an organization based in Cambridge, we are thrilled to celebrate our city's incredible diversity through today's selection of music. We would like to thank the Cambridge Community Center for the Arts, the City of Cambridge, Midorian Friends, and our AV Engineer and Technical Director, Brandon Johnson, for making this production possible. We open our program with the third movement from Florence Price's String Quartet in A minor, entitled Juba. Being very familiar with African-American musical traditions, Price incorporated the sound of her childhood and culture into her works. In this movement, you'll hear the frolic and fun of the padding juba, a type of dance accompanied by singing or chanting and clapping, as well as the rhythmic ferocity representative of this African-American sound. Please enjoy.
Drawing on instruments and stories of native Peru, Gabriela Lena Frank uses more modern approaches of string playing in Leyendas to help portray those within this classical instrumentation. You can hear the characters and people through the different melodies and rhythms, all while preserving the country's sounds in her composition. Himnos de Zamponias and Chasqui are just two of the seven movements in this piece that you will hear today, all of which tell different stories of Peruvian life.
a composer that drew on folk music as a main source of inspiration, Hungarian composer Bela Bartok exhibits elements of that in his fifth string quartet through his use of Hungarian folk rhythm and meter, while employing a more modern sound in melodic composition and orchestration. The fourth movement of this work, which you will hear next, shows versatility of the instruments through the use of a few thematic cells. The movement has an eeriness to it, while still exhibiting strong emotions in every voice.
Continuing this theme of popular sounds infused into the classical medium, Jairto Villalobos made what is considered classical more accessible by including elements of Brazilian popular music. In his sixth string quartet, dubbed the Brazilian Quartet, Villalobos aimed to create a more national sound. The second movement uses rhythms and other characteristics of choro music, evident in the syncopations throughout the movement that are juxtaposed with a more soaring melody. Thank you. 
Tom Dunn's Eight Colors for String Quartet was the first work he wrote in the United States. His first dive into Western atonality, Tan still draws on Chinese colors, musical traditions, and artistic traditions to portray different scenes and moods in this drama. His voice incorporates his Chinese culture with a Western style throughout the work. Today, we will hear three of the eight short movements, Peking Opera, Zen, and Drum and Gong.
Hi everyone. We hope you've been enjoying the program so far. The Eureka team and I wanted to take this moment to acknowledge the passing of Amy Chang, who's the mother of our board chair, San San Lee. San San, while it's difficult for us to gather together as a group during these times, we wanted to tell you that we are with you in spirit by dedicating the next piece in the program to the memory of your mother. Now, as you know, our executive director, Andres Ballesteros, is a fantastic composer. So we were very happy to have him write this string quartet arrangement of the Japanese song, Sen no Kaze ni Natte, or Become a Thousand Winds. We understand that this beautiful song had a special significance for you and your mother. And my colleagues and I can imagine why, as I'm sure many in our audience will upon hearing it as well. So San San, we hope you're well. We hope you enjoy this next performance. And please know how grateful we all are to count you as a member of the Eureka family.
Our last piece, Jesse Montgomery's Strum, is a lively work, drawing on dance rhythms and American folk idioms. One of the most sought after composers of today, Montgomery continues to include her identity in her works, making them completely accessible to all listeners. Thank you all once again for tuning in, and we hope you keep an eye and ear out for Eureka Ensemble's future programs. Now, without further ado, Strum.
Thank you.